Spotting liars is very important if you want to make the right friends and see who is honest with you. Some people are a master at lying though, and hence it can be rather difficult to know who is lying. But yes, there are some methods you can use to spot a liar in no time. You do have to realize that these methods need to be applied adequately, so it is an important thing to understand them well and use them in different situations. In this video, we will explain six secret ways to spot a liar. Number six, liars don't mention themselves. Lies tend to be very complex or very simple. While a lot of things can vary in the case of a lie, you will notice that the liar will usually avoid mentioning himself. The focus is on others because he can easily come up with stuff about other people. Yet, when it comes to talking about himself, the liar needs to come up with proof that he was there and so on. This is why you rarely see a liar mentioning himself. This is quite interesting if you think about it. If you see that a person talks about a topic and they seem to be lying, just try to see if they are mentioning themselves or not. If they aren't, then they are most likely lying in your face. And thus, you have to find out the right way to deal with that liar as fast as possible. Number five, liars are often pessimistic. You won't see a liar that has a positive attitude. Most liars tend to be focused on negativity, but that's great if you think about it. Such a thing will make a liar a lot easier to spot, and that's certainly one of those things that you have to use to your advantage. On the other hand, you do need to pay a lot of attention to what the liar says at that particular time. But if the person is constantly negative when it comes to their attitude, then something might be up. Number four, liars keep their explanations as simple as possible. People lie in various ways, so it's hard to quantify that. But you will note, however, that most liars tend to keep their explanations simple. The idea is that they avoid making up too much stuff. It's always harder for them to come up with the complex details of their lies. They prefer to keep it simple and say the main point of their lie. Make that story too complex and it will be hard for you to keep up with all the information. This ends up being way too problematic for the liar. So yes, he just focuses on keeping the explanation as simple as possible. It's important for them to have control and to remember each portion of the lie. Otherwise, they won't be able to remind themselves of everything that they have said. Number three, when people lie, they use confusing words. Lies are meant to be confusing. If you start taking them apart, they will barely hold up most of the time. So most liars tend to be very confusing when it comes to the words they use and the details they share regarding that specific story. Any potential details that will showcase a confusing approach towards something should be a warning to you. Do keep in mind that whenever a person lies, they will always try to cover things up in one way or another. But the idea here is that as long as the wording is confusing, you may be dealing with a liar. Number two, liars will add a lot of details to a story that's pretty simple. We mentioned earlier that liars tend to make simpler stories, but there are situations where the story is simple, yet they have to make it more complex to insert the lie. In case you see that a person adds a lot of details to a simple story, that should be fishy right off the bat. There's no need for a lot of details regarding a simple story unless something is up. So yes, you have to see what the liar says and you have to figure out if he is adding it into the story. Sometimes liars will do this, so you have to study the story and see if it holds up. Then you have to think about things like why this story was too complex when it could have been easier. Number one body language. Body language is probably the most important factor that reveals a liar. Liars tend to avoid eye contact. Liars feel they can hide their lie by not looking at the other person's eyes. Another interesting fact is that liars often touch their face, hair, or head when they are lying. For instance, if you see someone scratching their neck while talking, chances are high that this person is a liar. If you ask a question from a liar and they pause too long to answer, you might be dealing with a liar. This is often because they need to think of ways to come up with another lie to answer your question. Most of the time, a person that has very strange body language, especially when he tends to be very nervous when he doesn't need to, might be a liar. People that lie tend to breathe very heavily. At times, their voice can be shallow, and the blood flow, their face color, as well as their heart rate, will change mostly due to nervousness. 
Liars are also stiff and tense. And yes, due to nervousness, most liars tend to sweat a lot too. Things like crossed arms or ankles or shrugged shoulders can be a good indication that you're dealing with a liar. Remember, these methods are not foolproof, and it can take some time to master them, yet if you take your time and apply them rightfully, you will be able to spot a liar pretty fast. Thanks for watching, and remember to subscribe for more videos.